Hey guys, it's me, Jeeves Sobs, and I'm here with a brand new product. This is the Quantum Eye with a 1 in a million by 660,000 pixel screen. You'll never see a single pixel, I promise. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to see the amazing processor that our Quantum Eye has. As the first Quantum iMac, we wanted a nice, solid, fast processor. So we had a 400 qubit processor. It does an astonishing 296,728 petabytes per second of information. And just to put that into perspective, one byte is one process per nanosecond. And a petabyte is a thousand terabytes. Whoa. And not only that, but our non-quantum counterparts are up to 400,000 times slower than this. And we're talking about the fully upgraded iMac here. Hello everybody, this is CBC News. I am your host, Emin Ye. Today we're going to be first of all looking at a major security issue that happened in the United States. Jeeves Sobs have recently recalled the new Quantum Eye computer in which it was released two weeks ago. The main reason for this is believed to be a security leakage and have been considered public unsafe. According to a study last week released by the, some scientists, in which is currently anonymous due to security reasons, it is believed that the main reason for those customers who own quantum eye computers to go to the hospital so frequently is because something called a quantum tunneling. It basically means an electron running away from the rest of the quantum eye, hitting the human, resulting in dizziness. This is CBC News. I am a host, Emin Yang.